TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability. In this programming exercise, we're going to make use of the sense board again, so plug it into your computer and open Project 24, which contains the completed program from Programming Exercise 23. Immediately save it with the underscore SOL. Our task in this exercise is to add some colour to the lines drawn on the stage, like this. Some set pen colour blocks have been added to the scripting pane to start us on our way. The colour of each line should depend on the sound level represented, so if the sound level is less than or equal to 10, the line should be green. If the sound level is greater than 10 and less than or equal to 20, the line should be yellow. If the sound level is greater than 20, the line should be red. Make the necessary amendments to the script. These should take the form of additional blocks placed directly before the pen down block. You'll not need to use any blocks that you haven't already encountered. Save the project and then run the program. Remember to make use of the pause button or rewind any parts of the video that aren't clear to you on first viewing. Is it working as you expected? Are you getting the correct colours for the three sound level ranges? And how would you test the program? All being well, you've created a versatile program that could be modified to monitor other quantities such as temperature or light intensities, earthquakes and so on. There are many ways of building the script for this program. Here's one example using nested if-else blocks and you can find that as project 24 completed. The or block representing the less than or equal to operator is the boolean condition for the outer if else block. Alternatively you could have used a series of if blocks like this. To test the program you should vary the sound level checking the values displayed by the volume variable watcher. All of the following situations which should result in different routes through the program should be checked. If the volume is less than or equal to 10, the line is green and the same height as the volume. If the volume is greater than 10 and less than or equal to 20, the line is yellow and the same height as volume. And the volume is greater than 20, the line is red and the same height as volume. You should also check particularly carefully at and near the boundary values. Remember, these are values at which the program's behavior should change. In this case, the boundary values are 0, the minimum volume value, 10, 20 and 100, the maximum volume value. In practice, it's likely to be difficult to achieve specific sound level values. So in checking your program, you might first want to set volume to the value given by the slider, which is easier to vary precisely. Consider the attempt at building the program from the programming exercise 24 shown here. It uses an if block followed in sequence by an if else block. Describe why this program would not have the behavior specified in the exercise. And don't use sense to work this out. Try and think it through. In conclusion, this session has introduced the Boolean operator blocks in sense. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>